everyone and welcome to our first virtual International Children's Friendship Festival. As you all know, we had to cancel last year's festival due to COVID-19. Surviving 2020 in itself is an achievement. In a year plagued by fires, a worldwide pandemic, and historic protests, we saw people rise to the occasion and show, as President Abraham Lincoln once said, the better angels of our nature. People from all walks of life stepped up to rally around their communities, donating meals to sewing masks, showing simple acts of everyday kindness that raise spirits. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Hi, my name is Zainab and I'm 13 years old. I've been one of the program MCs for the last four years. This year, I will miss seeing all of your beautiful faces, but I'm so happy you're here today. I love ICFF because I make new friends and learn new things every year. Hi, my name is Edan and I am 13 years old. I first performed at the ICFF as a program host when I was five years old. I didn't know how to read at the time, but I loved it so much that I memorized all my lines. The program director thought I could actually read, which was kind of funny. Many of you have been to the ICFF before. And for the newcomers, let's give you some highlights about the ICFF. ICFF stands for the International Children's Friendship Festival. ICFF is an annual cultural event held in Washington since 2010. It aims to honor children and youth all over the world. Can you believe that it has been over 10 years? ICFF's origin dates back to April 23rd, 1920. The parliament that governs modern Turkey was formed on this day. This date is accepted as the birth of modern Turkey. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder of Turkey, believed that the future of a new nation was only possible by investing in its children. To emphasize this belief, Atatürk declared April 23rd to be celebrated not only as National Sovereignty Day, but also as Children's Day. So every year on this day, children from all over the world gather to celebrate Children's Day in honor of the Turk's legacy. Peace at home, peace in the world. To mark the importance of this day, our governor Jay Inslee has made a public announcement stating that the week of April 17th through 23rd be recognized as the International Children's Day. Here's what this proclamation looks like. Friendship teaches us to be honest, responsible, trustworthy, and dependable. Yes, ICFF is all about friendship. Friendship is an essential part of our lives. We are here to get to know each other. We are here to learn from each other. We are here to respect each other. And of course, we are here to have fun all together. Let's start the show. Once upon a time on Earth, there was an invisible war going on. The good folks of the Blue Planet were fighting against an enemy, widespread and wild. It was hard to see, it was hard to catch. As much as it was small, it was mighty powerful. It was traveling all around the world, knocking on every door and making people sick. So Earth things had to stay inside their homes and wear masks when they went outside. Kids were bored. They missed playing outside and going to school with their friends. But there was hope. Oh, there is always hope for those who dream and explore. The good folks of the Blue Planet would always find a way for a better future when they stuck together in peace and harmony. Throw 
was sitting in front of her computer and staring around the room. In the background, there was the distant sound of news from the TV about the ongoing pandemic. She looked up the ceiling and around the room. She was bored. She sighed quietly. Then all of a sudden, she heard a sound. Dora looked around curiously, trying to figure out where the sound was coming from. She looked around again for the source of the sound, but couldn't seem to understand where it was coming from. And she heard it again, and finally saw that it was actually coming from her computer screen. Two kids were jumping up and down and waving their hands to get her attention. Hey kid, hey you, do you hear us? Hoo -hoo. Are you bored like us? Here I am, done with my homework, nothing to do. I was checking my phone for some old pictures that I took on our family trips. I miss visiting and seeing the exciting cultures. I miss playing with my friends. Most of all, I miss making new friends. The kid paused for a moment thinking. Then he snapped his fingers with excitement. Aha! Uh -huh. Since we're all here, I think we should have a world trip. What do you say? Everyone seemed puzzled, but excited. Can we really? Have we done this before? I remember how we dreamed about traveling all around the world, meeting kids from different countries, learning their dances and singing their songs? Yes, I do. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it? Duru was trying to figure out if she was not in another Zoom for her class or something. What was happening? She excitedly began to watch the kids on her screen. I remember that. We always had a wonderful experience during this festival, celebrating all those colorful cultures, enjoying their music, food, and dance performances on stage. It was like a world tour. But as you know, this year everything was different. Don't worry, no matter what, whatever will happen, the festival will go on and it will be amazing. I can feel it. You're right, it will be amazing. I'm thinking, how can you travel? She looked up and squinted one eye, trying to find a solution for their world trip. How would they do that? Uh-huh, I know how we will travel. You see, it's rather simple. We can do it virtually. With the power of our imagination and computers, the only thing missing is to have a friend to share with. What did you say? He was pointing his finger right at Dura. She had a big smile on her face. She happily placed herself into her chair. Would you come with us? You'll be amazed. You won't believe your eyes. We can go places, visit other friends all around the world. Maybe we can sing and dance together, or maybe we can play a game or two. Just stay with us, will you? You will not regret it. All of a sudden, Dura saw that one of the kids captured a kite's tail that appeared from nowhere. Much to her amazement, this was one of those days that she thought anything could happen in front of her eyes. The kid grabbed the kite's tail while the kite was ascending. She was waving her hand and yelling. Here's my ride! Whee! This day was not going to be boring after all.
or hello, our first destination is my hometown, Turkey. Here's Turkey on the world map. Geographically, Turkey sits in between two continents, Europe and Asia, although around 97% of it is on the Asian side. Turkey is larger than the state of Texas and has a population of 83.4 million people. Turkey is surrounded on three sides by the Asian Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Black Sea. The official language of Turkey is Turkish. Let's learn more about Turkey. The Turkish flag is a red flag featuring a white star and crescent. The Turkish flag is one of the most beloved and devoted symbols in Turkish culture today. Red is a predominant color in Turkish history. The capital city of Turkey is Ankara. One of the most magnificent places in Ankara is the resting place of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the leader of the Turkish War of Independence and the founder and first president of the Republic of Turkey. Do you know which city lies on two continents? That's right, Istanbul is the only city that lies on two continents. Istanbul is the largest city in Turkey with over 13 million people living inside of it. This does not only make it the most populated urban settlement in Turkey, but also the world's second pop largest populated city. Istanbul is the capital to two big empires, namely the Ottoman Empire and the Byzantine Empire. The Tulkapı Palace was the primary residence of the Ottoman Sultans for approximately 400 years of their 624-year reign. Hagia Sophia has the second largest dome in the world after the Pantheon Rome. It was converted to a museum in 1935 by the first president of Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. And for you shopaholics, Turkey has the oldest shopping mall ever. Built in 1460, the Grand Bazaar still stands. There, you'll find exotic spices, beautiful Turkish rugs, and handcrafted jewelry. Does anybody know the name of this famous bridge in Istanbul? Yeah, you got it right. It's the Bosphorus Bridge. What's so special about this bridge? Yep, it connects the size of Turkey that's in Europe and the size that's in Asia. Many Istanbul residents use public boats or ferry called Bapun Turkish to go to work or school. You can also board a Bapur to simply go around the Bosphorus and enjoy the stunning views. While on the boat, you should have a sip of steaming red Turkish tea and a crispy Turkish sesame bagel called Sinit. Wherever you go in Turkey, it's traditional to be offered a cup of Turkish tea as a sign of welcome, whether you're at someone's house, a shop, or even the hairdresser. Who knows why the Turkish prefer to have their tea in a tube-shaped glass instead of a cup? Yeah, the shape keeps the tea hot for as long as possible. Also, the tulip shape gives an easy grip of the glass. One of Turkey's most popular souvenirs is the blue eyes made of glass. Traditionally, evil eyes are pinned onto newborn babies' clothes, as well as hung above doors in houses and businesses for protection against bad luck. Turkish coffee is a style of coffee prepared using very finely ground coffee beans without filtering. Who can tell me the name of the square shaped things that are served with the Turkish coffee? Yup, it's lokum. Turkish delight, or lokum in Turkish, has been a very popular worldwide delicacy that dates to the time of the Ottoman Empire. Let me introduce our first performers, Anadolu Youth Dancers. Formed in 2009 with 13 children, Anadolu Youth Dancers is a youth Turkish folk dance group in Seattle. The group provides a unique opportunity for Turkish-American children to experience their cultural heritage through art and dance. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give a big round of applause to Anadolu Youth Dancers.
Türkmen kızı, Türkmen kızı, Türkmen kızı, Türkmen kızı, yayık yayar Türkmen kızı, yayık yayar Türkmen kızı, sen avlar giyme kırmızı, çıkalım dağlar başına, sen gül topla ben nergizi. Kekliyim hey 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 Kekliyim doğada bağlayalım Ben adını çamdanı bağlayalım Çıkıda 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 koynayalım Our next performer is Bodrum Bilim ve Sanat Merkezi. They'll perform a song called Mavi Gezegen, which is Blue Planet in English. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, please welcome Bodrum Bilim ve Sanat Merkezi. As ICFF, we believe every child has the right to survive and thrive. So does UNICEF. Did you know that every six seconds a child under five dies somewhere in the world? Over the years, UNICEF has been saving more than 760 million children through routine immunization. UNICEF, being the largest vaccine buyer in the world and using their vaccine procurement expertise, will lead efforts on behalf of COVAX facilities to supply COVID-19 vaccines for 92 low-income countries so that every country gets sufficient supply of COVID-19 vaccine. If you want to support UNICEF, please scan the QR code on the screen to donate. Let's not let any child suffer. Soixante-dix ans au service des enfants. 
310 ans, au service des enfants. 70 ans, c'est la fête des enfants. 70 ans, c'est la fête des enfants. Mamie Unicef, joyeux anniversaire. Mamie Unicef, joyeux anniversaire. Tout enfant a droit à l'éducation. La discipline scolaire doit respecter les droits et la dignité de l'enfant. L'enseignement primaire doit être gratuit. Les pays les plus riches doivent aider les pays en développement à atteindre ses objectifs. L'enfant handicapé a le droit de bénéficier des services spéciaux ainsi que des soutiens appropriés pour lui, permettre de mener une vie pleine et décente, quel que soit son handicap. UNICEF, merci pour ta bonté, ta générosité et ta volonté d'être là tant d'années auprès des enfants pour défendre leurs droits durant leur 70 ans. Joyeux anniversaire, mamie UNICEF. L'enfant a le droit d'être enregistré dès sa naissance. Il a également droit à une nationalité. L'enfant a le droit de connaître ses parents et d'être élevé par eux. Mamie, ce cadran c'est pour te souhaiter joyeux anniversaire. Pendant ces 70 ans, tu nous as beaucoup aidés. 70 ans de lutte pour les enfants. UNICEF, initié. Yesambi Olof la Kankoro. Alaka Sanchama Irla. Moussokoroba Nyuma UNICEF. Aucun enfant de moins de 15 ans ne peut être enrôlé dans les forces armées. Les États partis assurent également la protection et les soins des enfants touchés par un conflit armé. I wish you a happy birthday and I thank you for all what you did for the children. Today is your 70 years old. Please never leave us. And again, thank you so much, Grandmommy UNICEF. L'enfant a le droit d'exprimer ses vues, d'obtenir des informations et de faire connaître des idées et des informations du moment qu'elles ne peuvent pas lui causer de tort, ni causer de tort à des tiers. UNICEF, merci pour tes 70 ans au service des enfants. Les états partis doivent protéger l'enfant contre toute forme de mauvais traitement perpétré par ses parents ou par autre personne à qui il est confié. Jamana Kaltabaro Tigre Kadindulu Korosi Kabo Masaluka Korosi Kodjugu Numa. 70 ans au service des enfants. 70 ans au service des enfants. 70 ans, c'est la fête des enfants. 70 ans, c'est la fête des enfants. Mamie Unicef, joyeux anniversaire. Mamie Unicef, joyeux anniversaire. Quand un enfant est adopté, priorité est donnée à son intérêt supérieur. L'enfant doit bénéficier de garanties et de normes équivalentes qu'il soit adopté dans son pays d'origine ou qu'il soit adopté dans un autre pays que le sien. Pour ces 70 ans d'accompagnement envers les enfants du monde, je te dis merci, Mamie Unicef. L'enfant a le droit de jouir du meilleur état de santé possible et doit bénéficier pour cela de services médicaux, avoir accès à de l'eau potable, à des aliments nutritifs et à un environnement sain. Les pays les plus riches doivent aider les pays en développement à atteindre ces objectifs. UNICEF, Anna Lemunum de Massina Gabi, Okulemun, Oan Kunini, Angada Gulli Sirebe Nyamuda, Tanyere Sine Norani, Ando Gulli, Ando Braj. Tu as été là pour défendre nos droits. Oui, Mamie UNICEF, tu as vraiment assuré, tu as vraiment été à la hauteur. Nous te remercions beaucoup et te souhaitons longévité. Mamie UNICEF, merci pour l'accompagnement et le soutien à faveur de nos enfants. Happy birthday. Merci UNICEF pour ton courage. Ton dévouement, 70 ans au service des enfants. Nous, enfants, te remercions de la part de tous tes petits-enfants. Une nation sans enfants est une lueur, non à la violation des droits des enfants. Pour une lueur, l'indépendance accordée des abasages, comme une lueur profitant pleinement de son rivage. Enfant, sèche là, fais tes devoirs et tes droits te seront accordés sans armes. Telles sont les préoccupations d'une organisation qu'on appelle UNICEF. Plus jamais d'orphelins qui errent dans les rielles. Plus jamais d'enfants soldats qui portent ces armes cruelles. Plus jamais d'enfants victimes de violences, de précarité et d'atrocités plurielles. UNICEF, mère et grand-mère de tous les enfants, Isambé Sambé. Soixante-dix ans au service des enfants. 
70 ans, c'est la fête des enfants. 70 ans, c'est la fête des enfants. Mamie Elisef, joyeux anniversaire. Mamie Elisef, joyeux Our next destination is in Central and South Asia. Salam, hello. Here's Afghanistan on the world map. Afghanistan has a population of about 38 million. Pashto and Dari are the official languages of this country. Let's learn more about Afghanistan. Here's the flag of Afghanistan. The national flag of Afghanistan consists of three colors with the national emblem in the center. Black represents the past, while red represents sacrifice, and green stands for hope for the future. Kabul is the capital and largest city of Afghanistan. Blue Mosque is one of the country's best known landmarks. Bandamir is known as Afghanistan's Grand Canyon. The world's second highest mountain range, the Hindu Kush houses Bandamir 3,000 meters up in its foothill. Afghanistan's national animal, the snow leopard, is a sign of bravery and fearlessness. Did you know that unlike other big cats, snow leopards cannot roar? Let's learn more about this beautiful and magnificent creature. Do you know why snow leopards have long tails? Yes, it helps them balance and keep them warm. Afghan cuisine is largely based upon the nation's chief crops, such as wheat, maize, barley, and rice. Accompanying these staples are native fruits and vegetables, as well as dairy products such as milk, yogurt, and whey. Kabuli Palau is the national dish of Afghanistan. The Hakimi brothers will share one of the traditional foods of Afghanistan. The Kabuli Palau. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome the Hakimi brothers. Let's start the show. Thank you, Hakimi brothers. Hello, hello, and here's Scotland on the world map. Scotland is a country that is part of the United Kingdom. It covers the northern third of the island of Great Britain. Here's Scotland's flag. The color white in the Scottish flag symbolizes peace and blue symbolizes the virtues of justice, vigilance, and perseverance. The population of Scotland is a little over 5 million. The official language of Scotland is English. Let's learn more about this beautiful country. Edinburgh is the capital city of Scotland. 
Edinburgh Castle is the most famous of all castles in Edinburgh. Did you know the Harry Potter books were written by J.K. Rowling in Edinburgh? Many point to Edinburgh's famous castle as inspiration for the Hogwarts school building. Kilts is a traditional costume of Scotland. There are different patterns and colors which are called tartans. Each tartan is unique to a clan or family of Scotland. Both men and women wear kilts. The bagpipe is a woodwind musical instrument. They were played as armies marched out to battle and often the opposing side would never heard such a noise which frightened them. Wow, I would love to go to Scotland one day. Please welcome Keith Pipe Band and Ben Zen School of Highland Dance. Highland dancing is a celebration of Scottish spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready to watch a great performance? This performance was done during COVID-19 2020. What does friendship mean to you? Friendship means to me making new friends and playing with them and supporting each other. What else? Playing with those new friends you make and play tag. What do you like about your friends? I love my friends. My friends share toys with me. Mm. My friends play with me. They make me laugh. We sing scrap together. They listen and help. I love my friends.
what does it mean to be a good friend? To be nice, to share with others, and to make others laugh. Salam, or hello. Let's find Uzbekistan on our world map. Uzbekistan is the most populated country in Central Asia. The population of Uzbekistan is 33.6 million. The official language of Uzbekistan is Uzbek. Let's learn more about Uzbekistan. Here's what the Uzbekistan flag looks like. The azure color on the flag is a symbol of blue sky and clear water. White is a symbol of peace, purity, and kindness. Green is a symbol of the diverse and rich nature of the country. Tashkent is the capital and largest city of Uzbekistan. The Registan was the heart of the ancient city of Samarkand. The name means sandy place or desert in Persian. Look at this magnificent tower. Isn't it pretty? Exploring three of the Silk Road's most important cities, Tashkent, Hiva, and Samarkand. The country was at the heart of the historic Silk Road the ancient trading route or the superhighway that connected China with Europe and the Middle East. Ichenkala was the last resting place of the caravans. This is where civilization ended and the desert started. Timur was one of the fiercest and most successful conquerors to come out of Central Asia. The national dish of Uzbekistan is plov, a Central Asian pilaf consisting of rice, fried vegetables, generally eaten for lunch. Wow, what a beautiful country. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready for a great performance from Uzbekistan? Guncha Uzbek Dance Group was created in 2017 in Seattle by brothers Naim and Timur Zak. Guncha strives to showcase Uzbek culture through dances in the US. Please welcome Guncha.
country in Central Europe. Ivalik or welcome. Here's the worldwide map, and this star represents where Hungary is. Hungary can be compared in size with the state of Indiana. Here's the Hungarian flag. The white represents Hungary's rivers, the green its mountains, and the red represents the sacrifices in its many battles. Hungary's capital is Budapest, which is also the largest city in Hungary with 1.7 million inhabitants. Budapest is located on both sides of the Danube River. Isn't it beautiful? Let's take a quick tour to Hungary. Hungary has many thermal strings. Lake Heves near Lake Balaton is the largest thermal lake in the world. There are about 1,500 thermal springs and over 400 public baths in the country. Wow! Franz Liszt is a widely regarded as one of the greatest pianists of all time. Did you know that the Rubik's Cube was invented by the Hungarians? The grey longhorn cattle are endemic to Hungary. Look at those big horns. Emisa Orban will demonstrate her recipe for funk, a type of Hungarian donut that is usually prepared in February during the Farsang Festival. Hello, my name is Emma Shan. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a simple and delicious treat. It's similar to a donut. Hungarians have been making this treat for hundreds of years. Let's do it. Now I'm going to introduce you to the ingredients. Boy, olor, dye, flour, portugor, elastu, toyash, sukor. First let's start off by adding our flour. We'll form a little hole so we can add the milk, the yeast, the sugar, and then we'll mix. In the meantime, I cracked the eggs and separated the egg whites from the egg yolks. We can put the egg whites away to the side because we won't be needing them. So, we can mix together the batter. So now let's add the egg yolks, butter, and powdered sugar. Now that the batter is done, let's let it rest for 30 minutes. Now that 30 minutes is up, let's check. Now that it's doubled in size, we can take it out of the bowl. Let's roll it out. Now let's cut the pieces out. These cut up pieces will have to rise for another 25 minutes. Now that 25 minutes are up, wow, they look good. Now let's put the oil to boil. And before enjoying, we should put some powdered sugar 
ăn xong chè And now let's enjoy your eating up. Bienvenida or welcome. Here's Spain on the world map. It's located on the Iberian Peninsula in southwestern Europe. It is situated in both northern and eastern hemispheres of the earth. The fifth largest country in Europe, Spain has a varied geography and rich color for history. Spain has a population of about 47 million and their official language is Spanish. Let's learn more about Spain. Here's the Spanish flag. The flag of Spain consists of three horizontal stripes. Red is said to represent strength and bravery, whereas yellow represents generosity. It also has the Spanish coat of arms on the yellow stripe placed towards the hoist. Madrid is the capital and largest city of Spain. It is the second largest city in the European Union. Madrid's name means place of abundant war. Antoni Gaudí was a Barcelona-based Spanish architect whose works were greatly influenced by nature. He was a pioneer in his field using color, texture, and movement in ways never before imagined. Gaudi has world-renowned masterpieces spread throughout Barcelona. La Sagrada Familia is an absolutely breathtaking church located in Barcelona. It has been under construction for over a century. While 150 years is certainly a long time to build something, think about this. When La Sagrada Familia is completed, it will have taken longer than to build the Egyptian pyramids and only 50 years less than the Great Wall of China. Paella is a dish of saffron flavored rice cooked with meats, seafood, and vegetables. Paella is traditionally eaten from the pan. The bull is the national animal of Spain. Bulls are an important symbol in Spanish culture, especially in traditions such as bullfighting and the running of bulls. Flamenco is a form of song, dance, and instrumental music commonly associated with the Andalusian Roma of southern Spain. Sometimes you'll see the flamenco dancer holding a small piece of wood joined in pairs by a cord and clicked together by the fingers as a rhythmic accompaniment to the Spanish dancing. Do you know what this instrument is called? Yeah, you're right. It's called the castanets. Wow, Spain is a very colorful country. Our performers from Spain are Samila Flamenca. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome Samila Flamenca. Let's start the show.
Gracias. Or thank you, Samila Flamenca. It was an amazing dance, and we hope to see you again next year. Now we're heading to a country in East Asia. Tafte Marangun, welcome! Here's Mongolia on the world map. Here's the flag of Mongolia. The Mongolian flag consists of three vertical colored stripes. The blue represents the blue sky and red is for freedom. Mongolia has a population of 3.2 million. The official language of Mongolia is Mongolian. Horses play a major role in the daily lives of Mongols. Horses symbolize the culture of the country, and it is said that a Mongol without a horse is like a wingless bird. Mongolia is the land of deserts and mountain forests. Did you know that Asia's second largest desert, the Gobi Desert, is in Mongolia? Mongolia is often referred to as the land of the blue sky because it is cloudless for over two-thirds of the year. Look at this interesting hairpiece. It is called the sheep horn headdress. It is a traditional Mongolian headpiece that is created by stiffening and shaping the hair with fat from certain animals. Did you know that there are more horses in Mongolia than there are people? Mongolia has over 2 million horses and archery is the most famous sport in Mongolia. Ulaanbaatar is the coldest capital and largest city of Mongolia. Genghis Khan founded the Mongol Empire when he united the tribes occupying the Mongol plains. Our next performers from Mongolia is Yuhai. The band was formed in January 2020 in Bellevue, Washington to promote Mongolian national music, art, and nomadic culture all around the world. They will play a traditional Mongolian instrument called Morin Kur.
By Allah, thank you, Yu Hai. The instruments were truly amazing. We hope to see you again next year. Now we're moving to a country in Southeast Europe. Stravo! Hello. Here's North Macedonia on the world map. The population is 2.1 million people. The Macedonian language, written using its Silaric alphabet, is the official language throughout the Republic of North Macedonia. Here's the flag of the Republic of North Macedonia. The flag of North Macedonia is a red field with a yellow sun. The yellow of the sun represents liberty. Lake Orit is one of Europe's deepest and oldest lake and has more than 200 endemic species. Vardar is the biggest river in North Macedonia. Skopje is the capital and largest city of North Macedonia. Tavje Goravje is the national dish of Macedonia. It is bean stew prepared in a clay pot and can be found in many restaurants in North Macedonia. Let's take a quick tour of North Macedonia. Wow, such a lovely country. Our next performer from North Macedonia is Killian. He's 12 years old. He will be explaining an Easter egg game. Easter egg cracking game and song. On Easter Sunday, Christian Macedonians crack Easter eggs. This egg cracking game is especially fun for kids since it entails lots of goofing around, singing, and playing. The ultimate goal of the game is to crack your opponent's egg and have both ends of your egg left intact. Both players try to select an egg they think has the hardest shell. If both ends of both players' eggs are left intact, they are declared the winner of the game and it is said they'll have good health for the rest of the year. Now we're going to the east and landing in China. Ni hao, hello. You can't miss China on the world map. 
China is the world's third largest country, right after Russia and Canada. It is also the world's most populous country, with a population of around 1.4 billion, which means that around one out of every seven people live in China. Wow. The official language of China is Chinese. Let's learn more about China. Here's the Chinese flag. It's also known as the five-starred red flag. Can anyone tell me what this place is? Yes, you guessed it right. It's the Great Wall of China. It is the longest wall in the world. It has over 13,000 miles and was built over a period of approximately 200 years. Wow, that's amazing. Thousands of years later, the terracotta soldiers still stand to showcase an extraordinary level of craftsmanship and artistry from 2,200 years ago. Look at this cute but giant panda. The giant panda lives in the mountains of southwest China and nowhere else on earth. It is one of the most adored native Chinese animals and is now an endangered species. A bamboo diet isn't very nutritious, so pandas spend more than 14 hours a day eating. Beijing is the capital of China. After Shanghai, Beijing is China's second largest city. It is also the world's most populous national capital city, with over 21 million residents. The biggest event on the calendar in China is Chinese New Year's, which celebrates the beginning of a new lunar calendar. The lunar calendar celebrates its first new day when a new moon appears, a theory which is more than 5,000 years old. 2021 is the year of the ox. Wow, China is a magical country. I wish to visit it one day. Guess I'll add it to my bucket list. Our group from China is Wine Youth Performing Arts Center. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wine.
Привет! Hello! Here's Russia on the world map. Russia is the largest country in the world. It covers about one-eighth of the Earth, and it spans nine different time zones. Wow! It shares borders with a record of 15 countries, the most in the world, and it has a population of 144.4 million. The flag of Russia consists three equal horizontal fields, white at the top, blue in the middle, and red on the bottom. It is believed that white stands for honesty and nobility, blue stands for purity and honesty, and red stands for love, courage, and generosity. Now let's learn more about Russia. Moscow is the capital and most heavily populated city in Russia. It is city famous for the Red Square, the Kremlin, and St. Basil's Cathedral. Did you know that Moscow's Kremlin is the world's largest medieval fortress? Ballet is a popular notable art form from Russia. The famous Swan Lake was written by Polyart Ilyich Tchaikovsky from Russia. Did you know that Yuri Gargarin was a cosmonaut who became the first human to journey into outer space? Does anyone know Russia's national animal? Yes, it's the bear! This is so amazing. I wish I can visit Russia one day. Our next group from Russia is Vuynok. Vuynok is a Russian-speaking group of children and their parents who like to sing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome Vuynok. Ух, 
Our next group representing Russia is La Vida Dance. La Vida Dance Studios is based in Kirkland, Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give a big round of applause to La Vida Dance. How do you think the climate change will affect the Earth? Climate change affects the Earth by making it warmer. If there is too much heat, it could melt snow and ice in polar climates, threatening lives. Ocean tides could rise, creating natural disasters such as floods. It can change the way living things live. The planet is heating up and fast. To protect the future generations, it is important to understand the causes of the global warming. Top causes of global warming are power plants, transportation, farming, and deforestation. It is time to take action. Mira, what do you know about the coronavirus? It started in China last year. It's very spreadful and very dangerous. If you want to stay healthy, you need to wear a mask, stay six feet apart, and wash your hands. You need 
need to get the vaccination. Stay safe, stay healthy. I want the coronavirus to stop. I never wanted it to happen. It shut down everything. I miss my friends. But I am happy to get to go to school in person again and see my friends there. What is social distancing and how did it affect you? Social distancing is staying away from people six feet or more. And how it affected me is I cannot go playing with my friends and I can't go to their birthday parties and they can't come to my birthday parties. And I really hope coronavirus will finish very soon. Ruzgar, what do you do to protect yourself from the coronavirus? Wash hands for 20 seconds and wear a mask and stay six feet away. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What was the fun thing you did during the quarantine? I like the bike. Thank you. Bye. Ni hao. Hello. Here's Taiwan on the world map. Taiwan is an island country located in the western edge of the Pacific Ocean. The official language is Mandarin Chinese. Taiwan is a geologically active island. About two-thirds of Taiwan is rugged mountain landscapes. Earthquakes are frequent, and the island is punctuated by numerous steam vents and hot sulfur springs. In fact, Taiwan experiences as much as 15,000 to 18,000 earthquakes each year. Let's learn more about Taiwan. There is about 23 million people who live in Taiwan. This is a small island country which is quite densely populated. It roughly takes about 8 hours to drive around the entire island. Here's how the Taiwanese flag looks like. The colors of the flag represent the three principles of the Taiwanese in making of their country. Prosperous, powerful, and sovereign. Red represents togetherness and livelihood. Blue represents nationalism and liberty, while white stands for quality and democracy. Here are some beautiful pictures of the capital city of Taiwan. Can anybody tell me what the name is? Yes, Taipei is located in northern Taiwan and serves as the country's capital city. Can anybody tell me the name of this delicious drink which is from Taiwan? Yes, it is bubble tea. These are some cool artifacts that date back to 1,200 years, which were found in Taiwan. The performer group from Taiwan is the Seattle Taiwanese Children's Chorus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Please welcome Seattle Taiwanese Children's Chorus. Thank you. 
Chi Chi. Thank you, Seattle Taiwanese Children's Chorus. We hope to see you again next year. Bienvindo! Welcome! Here's Brazil on the world map. It is located in South America. Brazil is the world's fifth largest country by area and the sixth most populated country. The population of Brazil is 210 million. The official language of Brazil is Portuguese. Here's the flag of Brazil. The yellow represents the riches of Brazilian soil. The green symbolizes the plants and animals, specifically the Amazon rainforest. The name of the country comes from a native plant called Brazil wood tree. The capital of Brazil is Brasilia. However, the biggest cities are São Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. The Iguazu Falls is the largest waterfall in the world. Brazil has the largest biodiversity in the world, thanks to the Amazons. The Amazon is the world's biggest rainforest. It is home to around 3,000 freshwater fishes, 70,000 insects, and 55,000 different plants. Wow! The Amazon River is by far the world's largest river in volume. The national animal of Brazil is the jaguar. They're the largest native cat species. Are you guys ready to watch a great performance? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome Dora Oliveira and Dance Brazil Kids.
<laughs> now we're heading west and going to Europe and landing in Bulgaria. Dobre Dochel, welcome. Here's Bulgaria on the world map. It is located on the eastern part of the Balkan Peninsula and borders the Black Sea. Bulgaria has a population of 7 million. The official language of Bulgaria is Bulgarian. Let's learn more about Bulgaria. Here's a Bulgarian flag. White is peace, red is strength, and green is hope. Sofia is the capital and the largest city of Bulgaria. Did you know that Sofia is the 15th largest city in the European Union with a population of more than 1.2 million people? Men and women dress in costumes made of goat hair and wooden ram masks to celebrate New Year's Day in Bulgaria. They wish the Bulgarian people good health and a good harvest in exchange for small gifts like beans or eggs. The seven lakes are located one above the other and are connected by small streams which form tiny waterfalls Cascades. Isn't it beautiful? The Ryla Monastery is the most gorgeous, peaceful, and authentic place in Bulgaria. The Bulgarian yogurt is one of the best yogurts in the world. It has a sour taste and is very delicious. Bulgaria celebrates birthdays and name days. Many Bulgarians are named after saints. Bulgarian food it's colorful and diverse, from hearty salads through delicious pastries to grilled meat classics. Wow, I wish I can visit Bulgaria one day. Our next performers are the Medena Pika Children's Folklore Group. Medena Pika is a children's folklore program of the Bulgarian Cultural and Heritage Center of Seattle. They will be performing a welcoming of spring dance. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome the Medena Pika. Thank you, Medena Pitka. We really enjoyed your performance. Hope to see you again next year.
Ahlan, or hello. Let's find Palestine on the world map. It is located in Asia on the eastern Mediterranean coast. Palestine's population is estimated at 5 million residents. The official language of Palestine is Palestinian Arabic. Let's learn more about Palestine. Here's Palestine's flag. It is a tricolor of three equal horizontal stripes overlaid by a red triangle issuing from the hoist. This flag represents the state of Palestine and the Palestinian people. The capital of Palestine is Ramallah. It covers an area of 6.2 square miles. The Palestinians enjoy a temperate climate with warm to hot summers and mild winters. The Palestinians are known for their hospitality, their fascinating cultural traditions, and their warm welcome. Meals are a time to spend with family and could last one to two hours depending on the specific time of day. Palestinian sweet treats are world renowned, normally featuring pastries, sweetened cheese, nuts, and dates. Palestinian poppy is the native and most popular flower of Palestine. Palestinian children from the Puget Sound are describing the beauty, history, traditions, food, and dances of Palestine. We will begin with Amina Hamdan opening the video with her own written poem, Where I Am From. Omar and Maryam Al Kabra describing their village, Sa'athad, traditional cookie, Ka'ak. Mira Badaran describing her village, Jaffa, and a group of Palestinian children showing the traditional Palestinian dance called Debka. Palestinian Dabke Debka is an Arab folk dance. The Dabke is marked by synchronizing jumping stamping movement like tap dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give a big round of applause for the Palestinian children. Salam, marhaba. I'm going to be reciting a poem that I wrote called Where I'm From. Where I'm from, we have the world's oldest olive trees. The soil they grow on has been walked on by every culture in the world. The roots of the trees grow deep as the souls of the people who harvest it. Where I'm from, they have the most incredible people you will ever meet. They are strong, they are loving, they are resilient. Where I'm from, they love their culture, they love their history, they love their food, they love their dance. Where I'm from, they take pride in the traditional dresses they stitch by hand called tetris. Where I'm from, we have food known to the world as falafel, hummus, tabula, shawarma, paklawa. Where I'm from, we wear a white and black kofiya, which represents resistance, struggle, and freedom. Where I'm from, every religion connects. Muslims, Christians, Jews have all walked through. Where I'm from, they say it doesn't exist. They say we don't exist. They say I don't exist. But I'm here to tell you that it does exist, that we exist, that I exist. Where I'm from is a beautiful country called Palestine. Hi, my name is Arlen. This is my sister, Maryam. We are from Sofot, Palestine. Um, one of our most famous desserts is Gak, which is basically a cookie filled with dates. And we like to drink it with tea. Hi, I'm from Yaffa and my name is Mira. Today I'm going to talk to you a bit about Yaffa. Yaffa is known for the citruses and oranges. Yaffa is the world's oldest seaport in existence that is over 4,000 years old. Yaffa is known to connect Palestine to the outer world. One of Yaffa's famous dishes is called Romania. Romania is made out of lentils, eggplants, and pomegranate. Thank you. أنا الصامت على أرضي ورضي ورافع على السماء جبيني فلسطيني 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 أنا اللي اسمي يكفيني أنا الصامت على أرضي ورافع على السماء جبيني فلسطيني فلسطيني ويا نيالي عزيز وراسي بالعالي وحب بلادي طوالي وبشرايني فلسطيني
فلسطين ولهون وبس عمودي هالوطن Assalamu alaikum. This is the universal greeting in maps, the Muslim Association of the Puget Sound. I am from maps, MCOC, many cultures, one community. Hi, my name is Naima from the United States of America. سلام ايش رايكم لاباس بخير انا يونس متزير بقلا عسلامة انا خديجة وانا بيار من تونس اهلا بكم انا جنات من ليبيا انا ستيلينغ اي ام فروم ايثيوبيا ازيكم كيف انكم وي ار فروم سودان اهلا وسهلا انا اسمي منى من مصر اهلا وسهلا انا اسمي هبه من مصر from Jordan. Marhaba. I'm from Lebanon. Marhaba. Kifkon. I'm Ahmed Abdul. Mama and Baba from Syria. Marhaba. I'm from Turkey. Libya. Kaptila. My name is Malik. I'm from Russia. Today I'm going to be talking about a Pakistani dish called biryani. I really like to eat it and it's basically just rice and chicken. Assalamu alaikum, Koshawali. This is how we greet each other in India. Assalamu alaikum, Apakabar. I am Fadil and I'm from Indonesia. Now we are moving to a country in North America. Saludos de Mexico, or welcome to Mexico. Here's Mexico on the world map. Mexico is located on the southern portion of North America. It is the fifth largest country in America by total area. With an estimated population of over 120 million, it is the most populous Spanish-speaking state in the world. Let's learn more about Mexico. Here's the Mexican flag. The flag of Mexico is a vertical tricolor of green, white, and red, with the national coat of arms charged in the center of a white stripe. The green represents hope, white stands for purity, and red symbolizes the color of blood for those who have died fighting for Mexico's independence. Mexico City is the oldest city in, Amer in the Americas. More than 22 million people live in Mexico City, making it the fourth most populous city in the world. 
Chichen Itza is one of the most beautiful ancient Mayan temples in the Yucatan Peninsula. It is also called El Castillo, which means the castle in Spanish. Cancun is famous for its white sand beaches, which are made of crushed coral. Since the beaches are made with crushed coral, the sand is never hot, no matter how high the temperature is. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican artist whose memorable paintings have earned her worldwide acclaim and something of a cult following. Hot chocolate is the traditional drink of Aztecs. Did you know that the chocolate, chili peppers, and corn were all introduced to the world by Mexico? Gracias, Mexico! Millions of monarch butterflies migrate to Mexico every year from the U.S. and Canada. This is so amazing. I wish to visit Mexico one day. Our next group from Mexico is Puebla American School Dance Group. This group is made up of 35 students from fourth to sixth grade. They'll perform a sample of traditional dances to highlight the magic and richness of their folklore. Their dance show is called Dancing with the Heart. What an appropriate name. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, all the way from Mexico, please welcome Puebla American School Dance Group. Why is cultural diversity important to you? Diversity brings in new ideas and experiences and people can learn from each other. Bringing in different ideas and new perspectives leads to better problem solving. What is diversity? Diversity means we're all different. Diversity is colorful. Imagine everyone that surrounded you was exactly like you. Where's the fun in that? We need everyone's ideas and views to help inspire us and learn from each other. Together with our differences, we can help build a strong community.
what does being a global citizen mean to you? What a global citizen means to me is someone who is open to other cultures. That way they can help themselves, their community, and the rest of the world. Thank you to all the countries, performer groups, and especially our ICFF friends and families for joining our virtual festival this year. We couldn't have done it without you. We loved learning about your countries and experiencing your cultures. We love your dances, songs, cooking demos, and presentations. You made this festival unforgettable, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts, and we hope to see you again next year. in awe from all that she saw that afternoon on her computer screen. That night before bedtime, she was still thinking about her virtual world trip. How exciting it was to know there were so many places that were waiting to be discovered. As Dura drifted off into sleep, she thought about her new friends from all around the world. The very thought of it put a big smile on her face. The end. The only thing missing is to have a friend to share with. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs>